The Indian Army has operationalized its new Kanadumti field firing range near the northern borders. Dassault Aviation has announced that it has kick-started its stealth autonomous unmanned combat aerial vehicle program as part of the Rafale F-5 standard development. Garden Reach Shipbuilders has delivered the second large survey vessel INS near Desak to the Indian Navy. The DRDO has achieved a significant milestone with the successful development of indigenous high-pressure compressor drums for aero engines, that will reduce dependency on foreign suppliers. Despite commissioning the first Danush gun in 2019, the gun carriage factory has not even delivered two regiments, and it is likely to miss the March 2026 deadline to deliver all 114 guns. Indian Air Force has awarded an Aditi 1.0 Industry Challenge to Drones Tech Lab, to develop 40 km range helicopter launched weaponized drone with manned unmanned teaming capability. Indian Air Force has selected JSR Dynamics to develop range extension kits assisted with booster and electro-optical terminal guidance for 250 kg high-speed low drag bombs, to increase their range by more than 150 km. Sputnik has reported, that the head of the material management group at the DRDO's Defense Electronics Research Laboratory has said, that the Virupaksha radar being developed for the Super Shukhoi upgrade program, has been successful in tracking 100 targets simultaneously, and controlling maneuvering and steering six missiles at a target concurrently in air-to-air -air attack mode. He also said, that India is already at an advanced stage in the development of the Virupaksha radar, and electronics and radar development establishment is about to fit the prototype of this radar on the Su-30. The Virupaksha radar will use Kallium Nitride technology, and will have nearly 2400 transmit receive modules. The Indian Navy has called on private sector companies to collaborate for developing a naval collaborative combat air vehicle, to counter the growing challenges posed by enemies area denial capabilities and modern integrated air defense systems. It will be launched from ships, and will have the capability of neutralizing integrated air defenses, strike capability against surface targets in contested environments, and will be able to operate in conjunction with manned aircraft. The Indian Air Force has called on private sector companies to collaborate in the design and development of a multi-domain launch-capable loitering aerial interceptor system, to counter swarm drone attacks. The system will be based on a tube-launched system, and must be deployable across various platforms, including vehicles, ships and aircraft. It will feature autonomous multi-drone swarms capable of neutralizing multiple airborne threats with a combination of hard and soft kill mechanisms, as well as sensor disabling and electromagnetic pulse technology. Bharat Forge is developing a light tank under 25 tons, and as per company officials, it will feature integrated fire control system, electric gun and turret drive system, panoramic sight with a 360 degree view of the battlefield, shrapnel detection countermeasures, explosive reactive armor package, auxiliary cooling unit and auxiliary power unit, laser warning system, integrated battlefield management system and shot detection system. Today's top 3 comments.